How much were you asking for in damages? Evictions in Maricopa County, nearly 4,000 in March. Despite that, because of new protections, some renters will be able to stay right where they are. They can't actually come and lock you out of your home. Pam Bridge is an attorney with Community Legal Services, a nonprofit that helps lower income Arizonans. Under the protections, renters cannot be removed for 120 days, but it's not automatic. You qualify if someone living there has a COVID-19 diagnosis, a health condition that puts them at risk, or you've had a substantial loss of income. If you can't pay rent because of the coronavirus, um, because childcare issues, you had to stop working, or you've been laid off, or your hours have been cut. But even then, not automatic. What the tenant can't do is do nothing. If the tenant doesn't do anything or t communicate with the landlord, not only will they be evicted, but they will be locked out. You must let the landlord know you have a qualifying condition causing financial problems. Do it in writing, an email or text, provide documentation like a job layoff notice, and keep the proof you sent it to the landlord. So that if the sheriff or constable does come to their home, they can say, hey, I, look, here's my text, here's my email that I sent to the landlord. Um, so I shouldn't be locked out. But while there's protection against lockouts, there's nothing preventing evictions in Arizona. So landlords can still go through the eviction process. And if a renter doesn't qualify for a COVID-19 exemption, they could still be removed. Bridge wonders how many of the thousands evicted last month in Maricopa County alone will be locked out at a time everyone is being told to stay inside. Having tenants evicted right now and kids moving, leaving their school where they might be getting free lunch and free breakfast uh, and out and looking for other places is a health hazard. So Community Legal Services has asked the courts to postpone evictions in Maricopa County. We feel that this is a health hazard for all of us, not just landlords and tenants. They're asking for a 30 day eviction postponement in Maricopa County, but want it to last longer if virus concerns continue. The courts say they've made no decision at this point. The state is also offering $5 million in rental assistance. Go to kgun9.com to see if you qualify for part of it. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know.